Now, for most substances, the relationship among thermodynamic properties are way too complex to be expressed by simple equations. We just don't do it. We're going to learn about enthalpy. Well, we already learned about enthalpy, which is H is equal to CPT. We learned about internal energy, which is H is equal to CVT. But that's if we're making a very specific assumption about things. In real life, things get pretty complex. So since we can't use a bunch of equations to do this, how are we going to do it? Well, through tables. Now, I already showed you how to find these tables. Those are the tables in the back of your textbook for water. They're also there for air. They're there for freon, which is the refrigerant we use commonly. And so in this case, I can see what enthalpy, internal energy, entropy, how all of those change with temperature and pressure. And among phases, so if they're compressed liquid, some mixture, or superheated, it's all there for you. I can just look it up. You can interpolate and solve for it. So it's very, very convenient to use those. I would suggest you use those for these problems because otherwise you can't solve them. So you've got to learn how to use the tables. Please, please do so. So like I showed you last time, I already showed you the actual tables and how you find them. But I'm going to go ahead and show them to you again here. So this is for this temperature table. And so you can see I have temperatures given and I get saturation pressure, which is derived. Now, for these two columns right here, it really does not matter. Like if you know that your pressure is 57.868 kilopascals and you know you're some sort of saturated liquid vapor mixture, then your temperature is this. You can go either direction. That both works out completely fine. And then from that, I can go forward. I can find my saturated, uh, my specific volume for saturated liquid, my specific volume for saturated vapor, which you can obviously see is much bigger, and all the way down the line for enthalpy, for internal energy, for entropy, and everything else I need to know. Now, to figure out any sort of property you want, if I have a diagram, I just need to pick a particular point and I trace it vertically or horizontally to where that is. So like, for example, if I know I have a saturated liquid, I know it because the problem says it, it's a saturated liquid, then I can just trace it over to the left and say, okay, that's 100 kilopascals. And if I know it's at 100 kilopascals, I can go to my tables I could figure out what the um, specific volume is for a saturated liquid. Or I could look at one of these diagrams. Usually we use the tables. You can use the diagrams too if you have a good enough one. And sometimes we'll do that later on. So, other little details here. Enthalpy of vaporization. This one has a name. I like it. HF, not really that to them name. By the way, enthalpy of vaporization, what is this? That is a difference in enthalpy from going from saturated vapor to a saturated liquid. So if I had a pH diagram, this would be HF, this would be HG, and this difference in the middle, that is HFG. So another way you can write that is that that's simply the difference between my enthalpy of a saturated vapor and my enthalpy of a saturated liquid. Why do we care about that? Because this is really, really helpful when we're trying to figure out how much energy we remove by going from a vapor to a liquid, okay? Now, this enthalpy of vaporization decreases as I go up. Why? Because as I go up in pressure or up in temperature, you can see that the line I'm drawing is getting shorter and shorter until it's finally a point. And right here at the top, my enthalpy of vaporization is equal to zero. It doesn't take any energy to boil. It just happens naturally. But below that point, it takes some energy to boil. And as I get to lower pressures or lower temperatures, it takes more and more and more energy to finally boil. As a note, enthalpy is simply equal to my internal energy plus the flow work. And we're going to see a lot. So don't forget it. Next little detail we're going to have is something called the quality. I think we'll talk about this next time. So I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.